two. Last time we left off with further questions for female suffrage. Yeah. This time we're doing uh, the new south. So I'm heading back to camp to talk to Dutch. And we will get there shortly. Who goes there? It's me, you pillock. It's Arthur. Alright. Let's go talk to Dutch. Camp fund, $93. My funds... $531. I was going to do a bit more hunting yesterday off, off camera, but... I had to, uh... sort out episodes on my channel. Because YouTube fucked up slightly. And, uh... Actually, I'll talk about that before we do that. Uh, basically, episode 6 to 15 of Red Dead. Okay. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Sometimes. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, the world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that. But come on. It looks to be a nice day ahead. Hosea knows... It's night time. Spot. We leave now. Well, we'll catch the early biters. Come on. Okay, then. Well, basically, episode 6 to 15 of Red Dead Redemption 2... Uh, I had a little problem with the editing. Uh, the episodes, for some reason, doubled up on the start of music. So, at 1 minute 19 into each one of those videos, the music starts playing again. Uh, and then YouTube decided to upload one of the videos to public when I set it to scheduled. So, <laughs> I had to put it to private, and now I have to manually set it to public when it is ready to come out. Let's get to Shadow. Okay. Dutch has a pure white horse. That's interesting. Kind of stands out well, in the distance. Here's a whole lake of them because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. <laughs> but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch. Okay. We've got to be discreet. Imagine. Red top left. Of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. 
Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. It's bloody night time still. <laughs> Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Okay, what are we doing? Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> okay. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay okay. Train. Looks Don't like we're chasing a train. Keep your guns <coughs> We need them Anderson boys alive. Hurry up, David. Okay. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. No, we're not. Can you relax, we're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. <laughs> I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Oh, God. Leave him. Stay with that train. down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Wait, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Get off me, you bastard. Well, there's one down. Come here, you little bitch. In the name of the law. Because apparently now I'm a copper. What are you doing, you bastard? Come here! Come on then! Off the train you go. Did he just die? Oh, brilliant. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. He's in hit. Come on. Are you sure? Put the knife away, bitch. Do it. Come then. Dick. Watch yourself. He's as dirty as they come. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't 
think he's dead. I think I won the fight. How do we get out? Come here, bitch. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. I guarantee we failed the mission because that guy fell off and died. On the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate oh. belonging to the Gray family. I have to come back here and harvest some. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful okay. People, truly awful. Oh, They've bloody... been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds the bloody like block nose again. Place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Okay. It's not like I can see it on my mini map or anything. <laughs> Wait. That was leading me back to camp. But it did take me through roads. Dudges asked the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble on roads. Which is fair enough. Are we there yet, Deputy? Thank you. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. That yeah, looks nice. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Yeah, sure. Hello, Sheriff. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How uh. terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? <laughs> thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's. And Braithwaite's. Two old plantation houses falling out. 
rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying them. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just <laughs> talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, bloody phlegm problems. Horrible. It keeps blocking my throat. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Okay. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. Alright. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. Yeah, I didn't even get to do any fucking fishing. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Ah, sure, let's go fishing. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. I like Let's Valentine, but you guys kind of fucked that up for us. And now we wait. Dry goods and notions. Groceries. You're right, Shadow. Follow me. Oh, this mission actually might be a half an hour long one. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. Okay. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good nice. spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney <laughs> owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information <laughs> is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. I suppose. Where is this spot, Jose? Timbuktu? <laughs> Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. <laughs> that was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. True. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. I guarantee it's not. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> so, you're going back to see that Sheriff Gray? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. <laughs> A little hiding in plain sight. Feel like we're always hiding in plain sight, but sometimes more smartly than others. This is the spot down to the left there. We're dangerously close to the fucking border. 
Wow, it's literally our camp's over here somewhere. I think. Can't actually see our camp. Where is it? Oh, who knows? I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. That would be cool. Yes, over there on the shore. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing we're taking a boat each then? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Which one are we taking then, old man? All right. That one, I guess. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. E <sighs> Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> too, too good for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water. Right? <laughs> good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Keep going. Here we go. Actually, get to row a boat. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking. Something big like a sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Uh, did anyone else just see that snake swim past? He's right in front of Hosea. Over to the right. There's a snake in the water. Oh, too bad, old man. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me once saw a deal trout, rainbow trout, nice. The mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. 50 pounder, you reckon? <laughs> I would like to see that. There he is. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then... The next week, Arthur and I are at the market. And... Uh, redfin pickerel catfish. Fish Let's try that. Calls out. So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> you can fish, or you can go drinking all day. Rob someone and buy some fish. Got one. I think I ran out of bait. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. Oh, right. Go out all the time. But one day, 
we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge and out of the blue Wesley stands up takes off his hat bows his head then he sits down picks his rod back up and carries on doesn't say a word so I'm a little surprised and say Wesley that was nice of you and he replies well Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. So... <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. <laughs> you got a bite. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. Oh, and you bugger. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater Large was the bands. furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Something's nibbling. There you go. That's a nice one. There we go. Yeah, I'm good at fishing. <laughs> you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? Nope. She is? Apparently so. <coughs> I, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. That's fair enough. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Seems about right. Are we done yet, fellas? Good job, Arthur. How many fish are we catching? Yeah, that's a keeper. If you're wondering why I'm aiming over here is because all the ripples in the water are over by Dodge. That's where all the fish are. And so I'm gonna bite. You got something gotcha. Like you, Arthur. Yeah, I can tell that. Damn straight. Lord that fucker straight in. Keeping that one, eh? Damn straight. If it's over five pounds, it's staying in my pocket. I can't see a damn thing, uh, Hosea. Your face is in the way. Oh, thank you for moving it, but I can still see I your ear. Wait, you saw that before it even actually bit the net uh, fucking hook. Come on, you bugger. In you come. <coughs> well done. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Yoink! I wonder how much fishing we actually have to do before this mission ends. Mate, your face is in the way again. Oh, great. Thanks for the year. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Yeah, I can see that. Nicely done, Arthur. How many have I caught? That'll grill up nice. Where's the Vigando? Hey, I reckon 
Can we call it a day, fellas? Oh, okay. You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. A lot to do. Head back. We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Yeah, all I had to fucking do was press L1 to unequip my fishing rod. There's the snake. Tim. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says waiting till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. <laughs> I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners do we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And the air is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round, 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 round. Well, we've reached the half an hour mark, so hopefully this will be the end of the mission when we get back. Marshal men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, round, round. To them we dance this round, round, round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, up, ground, up, ground, up, ground, up, ground, up, ground, 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 ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! What the fuck? We should not let the folks bet. Think about too much. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, it's certainly an interesting mission. Alright, let's see if we can do some skilled parking. Ah, oh, it wouldn't let me do it. Alright. I think I. Well, I mean, we. Gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will <coughs> be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. This bloody chair makes so much noise when you move. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Good idea. How are you? No south. No south again. I see what we fucked up with. I guarantee it was because one of them died. Knock out Anders Anderson without taking a hit. Catch and return Anderson. Anderson to jail within five minutes thirty seconds. Ah, oh, okay. So we failed we didn't get the gold because we didn't knock him out without taking with out taking damage and uh I didn't return him in five minutes thirty seconds because I was busy listening to Deputy Dickwad. That's all good. Right, let's have a gander at the map. What have we got next? We've got Leopold Strauss, money lending and other sins. Or we've got Greys, the course of true love. I think we'll do that one next time. If it wants to pop up again. So the next episode will be the course of true love. Uh, Dutch has asked you to sniff around the Kaliga... Hall 
to see what you can find out about the greys. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it, or if you don't, as per usual, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.